No, we explained to uh, the opposition leader uh, the, the, the reasons for our uh, you know, collective resignation and also requested him to understand it in the correct context and to uh, assist us in trying to uh, build reconciliation and uh, um, understanding uh, about the Muslim community's plight as well as to see that uh, whatever we do collectively for the sake of uh, this nation and its uh, uh, reputation internationally, uh, we have uh, assured him that uh, whatever uh, action we have taken is uh, limited to the uh, uh, immediate uh, uh, risks that uh, our community faced and that uh, we would collectively take forward um, our agenda to appraise other uh, party leaders as well as the religious uh, leadership of the country uh, in order to bring about uh, a national consensus on the uh, proper manner in which uh, we should uh, work towards eradicating terrorism forever from this country. Okay. What will be your next move as a collective politically? Now, we will be meeting a variety of different political leaders as well as uh, religious leadership of the country, particularly the Mahasangha. Um, then we will meet uh, important civil society leaders, yeah, important um, uh, emissaries of the foreign governments uh, and then explain to them the situation in which we had to uh, take this uh, drastic decision. But hopefully things will settle down soon. So you are already maintaining your backbenchers? But we are we are right now without our portfolios. Um, we may some of us may occupy the front benches. It may literally not be the back benches, but yeah, party leaders will occupy front benches according to parliamentary traditions. But apart from that, uh, we will uh, not be holding any privileged office in the in in the executive. But uh, nevertheless, we'll uh, use the leverage we have in order to see that the grievances we have will be addressed in the proper way without affecting uh, the national unity and cohesion among communities.